Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before proceeding further, I would like to give you some suggestions. Please sit with copy pen and watch video completely. And if you find somewhere important, then pause the video, note it and then proceed further. If you find any problem, any difficulties, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like share and subscribe because that can be reach more and more students and i will get the energy thank you let's move on <clears throat> what the question says a solid sphere of mass 1 kilogram and radius 1 meter rolls without slipping on a fixed inclined plane with an angle of inclination theta equal to 30 degree from the horizontal Two forces of magnitude 1 Newton each parallel to the incline act on the sphere both at distance r equal to 0 0.5 meter from the center of the sphere according to the figure. The acceleration of the sphere down the plane is in meter per second square we have to find out acceleration linear acceleration and take g equal to 10 meter per second square and this question is asked J advanced 2022. This is very interesting question. Let us first we have to describe this diagram. This is the sphere which having the radius capital R equal to 1 meter. And here the two forces you can see that this force is applying in opposite direction. This force, first force is direction is to right side and this force is acting to the upside. So they are equal and opposite forces applying on it. And here you can see that this point of contact of the inclination and uh, this is the center and then you know that very well mg act downward then mg divided in two components mg sin theta according to the motion are in the direction of motion and mg cos theta. Here mg cos theta varies to the normal force. So therefore it is not play any role to the moving this uh, sphere. Okay. So therefore here mg sin theta and one of this force is play the role to the rolling of this sphere and this is f sin theta uh, according to we have using a right hand thumb rule this force and this perpendicular distance act to the upside. This is downward direction means clockwise and anticlockwise. So therefore, this is the anti-clockwise and so therefore it is should be taken negative. Okay. And uh, small this distance from the center and this force, uh, this distance is uh, r equal to 0 0.5. So therefore, we have illustrated whole diagram and now come to the solution. You can see what is the relation capital R and small r. You can see that here r is given 1 meter and this distance this force at the distance is r and its r from the center is 0 0.5 it means r equal to 1 by 2 meter then small r equal to capital r by 2 okay so this distance is r by 2 whole distance is so all distances r by 2 r by 2 and this is r by 2 okay now let which forces acting downward direction mg sin theta this is the force and what is the distance from the point of contact you can see that this distance total r yes this is total r okay and this f plus f why we have to taking the plus because f this force and mg sin theta acting downward direction. So therefore we have taken here positive. And whole concept, basic concept, what is the basic concept behind it? Because here given that it is not slipping, only rolling. It means your linear acceleration equal to alpha into r or tau equal to, you have given tau. Let us first all the forces tau equal to i alpha and equal to f into r so it is the basic concept central point of this question so remember 
and keep these things in mind all forces and distance and this force this is the force and what is the distance from the point of the contact this is the point of contact what is the distance this is r by 2 so we have taken here again r by 2 now this is the force this force is negative direction f and what is the distance from the point of contact r by 2 r by 2 r by 2 so therefore we have taken 3 r by 2 equal to total torque net torque equal to i alpha as per the our central idea or central point okay i hope so you understand all the forces here we have not taken friction because friction is not illustrated in any question okay now substitute all these value m means mass of this solid sphere is 1 g can take 10 sin theta here theta is given 30 degree so 1 by 2 r is again 1 plus f is 1 newton already given and r is 1 1 by 2 and here f is 1 3 r is all again 1 1 by 2 and i alpha yes yes I moment of inertia through the tangential means say 1 by 5 mr square and alpha. Okay. So here we have to put I 7 by 5 mr square alpha. Then solve 2 5 is 10 5 plus 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2 equal to 7 by 5 and mass is 1 radius is 1 and alpha then uh, 5 and how much taking the 2 okay solve this value is 1 and 7 by 5 alpha 4 into 5 by 7 equal to alpha then alpha equal to 20 by 7 okay and what is the relation between the linear and angular acceleration? Here alpha equal to 20 by 7. Then relation linear acceleration equal to alpha into r. Here what is alpha? 20 by 7. And r is already 1. Then what is the value? Then uh, 7 by 20. Okay. Then acceleration equal to 2.86 meter per second square. Okay, this is the correct answer. And I hope so. You understand this question. Again, thank you for staying till the end of this video. I hope so. You understand these questions. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Take care.